morning. Hoping there's not granola all in my teeth, but we will move forward. I haven't vlogged since Dubai, which seems this is like so long. It's just been a lot of stuff going on. I think, excuse me, Easter holidays here, especially in Northern Ireland, is two weeks, which I think is just too long, especially after uh, half term, which was like in February. It's just we didn't really plan well around that. So the kids had a Bible camp the first week and then nothing. And we all got gastro for like 48 hours, except for Patty, thankfully. But um, now it's Sunday and I'm ready for the Pearl Spring Market that we're hosting at Fidella, which is like 15 minutes from our house. It's like a really yummy Colombian um, cafe. So they're hosting it, they opened up for us, and then we have a whole bunch of other like small businesses coming. So I thought I'll start vlogging today. Normally I don't start until Mondays, but it's just something that hopefully you guys can see a little bit behind the scenes if I remember to pick up my camera. If not, tell Beth me because I'm really awful at remembering whenever it's these things because I'm occupied talking to people. But yeah, hair, I just kind of, I don't even know what I did. Like, I don't know. I don't even think I could recreate it. It's like one of those things where it's third day hair. Yeah, third fourth day fourth day hair and there was already like movement and I just took like random pieces and like weirdly curled it like not anything uniform whatsoever so it's an interesting one where if I was to recreate it I don't think it would look like this I feel like anytime you would do it it would look different but like a version of it I don't know if that's helpful lips um obviously pearl sweet talker fully encased my lip and then outlined with whisper a little bit of rose and blossom in the inside and then I just touched it with a little bit of clear gloss so very simple my outfit is fully thrifted or from vinted this top little crochet like button top I got from a thrift shop here I think last year that was cute show off the bump and then this linen skirt it has a zipper but I folded it because it zips up but like over the bump and I just thought it looked kind of weird so I liked it a little bit lower flipped it over and I just love the style of it like I know I'll wear it a lot even postpartum like it would fit more low-waisted naturally all the way zipped up and then it would be fully to the floor which is really cute and then these little crochet heels also from Vinted don't know the brand though but they're really comfy because obviously <laughs> they've been worn in and then this is a little charm necklace that I made from Monday's Child who will be at the market as well we're here in Fidella we have Bethany and Laura on the pearl stand I'll turn around and show you what they've created my masterpiece <laughs> gorgeous it's the sunniest day as well and we'll go through some of the vendors we have pastel by Rachel looks so yummy and altered leggings which are amazing all body types the Fidella coffee Aloha by Alex over here Forage and Bath, gorgeous. We got some rose and green, so soy, <laughs> and my face child. <laughs> She's coming to our baby shower too. I'm so excited. Good morning. I am just back from the grocery store. A little avocados. Today is actually kind of exciting. We have. Um, her Instagram is called motherhood bubble. I feel like a lot of like moms who are into Hypnobirthing or home birth advocacy all that kind of stuff natural birth follow her She's from here more so like Belfast direction So she reached out to me and was like do you and Patty want to come to one of my courses and just with timelines and Work and also so close to birth itself the courses didn't work. So she also offered coming up to our house and doing like a private one-on-one. -on -one. So she's coming up, she'll be here in like 15 minutes, literally. <laughs> I'm gonna put everything away quickly before she comes. Yeah, I'm really excited. Like I have had really great natural positive births with my first two and obviously I'm doing the work and prep to have a third. The only difference is I'm highly considering a home birth because I don't know if I mentioned in my birth videos, I don't like love staying in the hospital I felt like isolated because at least here in Northern Ireland like your partner doesn't stay with you overnight if you have to stay overnight 
and I'm like, okay, I wanna go home. I'm over this, <laughs> like, I wanna take my baby home. I'm good, let's go. So I was like, oh, it'd be so nice to have the baby and just be like, oh, I can take a shower in my own shower. I can put my like own clothes on and get into my own bed and just like rest, like fully rest. So I'm like interested to like kind of learn a little bit more about that and maybe feel a little bit more confident in it because our go-to hospital um, maternity unit has closed, which is like an eight minute drive. I had Olive there. And then to be fair, I had Oscar in our now go-to hospital, which is about 40, 45 minutes. I don't know if it goes faster. I'm like, will we make it there on time? Will I even like, oh, all these things where I'm like, if I can give birth at home and I'm like kind of set up for it, why not? And also, I think today is really to like encourage and empower Patty to like feel confident about it because he would be more of the like higher anxiety out of the two of us. I'm pretty chill, but I want him to be like really encouraged by it or the option. So we'll keep you updated. <laughs> I'm just out of the shower. That has definitely become like a night routine for me since I'm gonna say, I'm really hoping this still holds together <laughs> for this portion of the video. Since about like 28 weeks, it's just something that really like calms me sorry for the mess in the background here and i have the fan on obviously because i just had a shower anyways i'm gonna do my every day or every evening nighttime routine we're on like the last couple drops of this toner that i showed you before south korean toner got it off of amazon and i love it it's not the exact exact consistency of water but has a little bit more slip in it but it's pretty much water, just a little bit more serum-y. Lather this on. And the reason I've been loving like an evening hot shower is it takes away like that tightness in my stomach. I find like from 3 p.m., especially now being closer to 36 weeks, I just get really tight like in the afternoon and just like heavy feeling. And so the hot water just like really like soothes that and then I take off my makeup so I don't have to take it off at the sink. So it's just, therapeutic you know then i'm taking the milk glaze from road and i'm obsessed with this like obsessed i was sent it in a big pr thing from them but i would 100 percent purchase it like this and then also the cleanser i use in my shower it's the kate somerville goat milk cleanser it takes off my makeup and i just feel like hydrated and fresh after those two skincare products absolutely will be coming with me postpartum because they are almost done. The sheen and like slight tack it gives to your skin. Oh, so good. It's like I'm gonna readjust here. Some nights, like alternating nights, I put this fresh serum on with exfoliants and boosts radiance. So I like to put this on every other night, for the most part. And I have been seeing lately that nighttime routine can be a little bit more exaggerated, if you will. But in the morning, splash of water on your face, SPF and moisturizer, you're good to go. And that's pretty much what I do anyways. Okay, for nighttime moisturizer, I still use this tried and true. I used it pre-pregnancy, throughout my pregnancy, and I will continue. I will love it. It is thick. Like you can literally layer it on like a mask, but I have combination. I think I'm out of that oily skin territory just with getting a bit older and how long have I been on YouTube? Like nine years. So almost a decade my skin has definitely transitioned to more of that combination rather than just oily. And I think really adding, my waters did not break. <laughs> that is the shower. <laughs> um, more moisture and intentional skincare to actually balance my skin out has helped because I think hydration, my skin was lacking. So it just like produced oil and breakouts and now it's good. I have a little scarring here from two months ago when I went ravenous from traveling and I I think I have like one little scar here that I've had literally my entire life. Like my mom even said that I had that one from like a young age. So I think microneedling might get rid of it. But I also like to bring everything onto my decolletage, neck, ears. That is me. Sometimes when I'm feeling a little extra tired, not always the biggest eye cream fan, but this is the only eye cream. I swear by, especially when I feel like I was getting like dehydrated under my eyes. This is the only one that really does the job for me. Not the avocado one from Kiehl's, the Midnight Recovery. That is it. If I want a little bit of like a boosted tan, if you're Canadian, this Nuda one is good. Obviously I love it. There's like less than a quarter left. But if you're in the UK or worldwide, 
you want like a true like bronzy tan, this Coco and Eve one is really good. And just for maintaining a glow, I love this Tan Lux Serum one. I also swear by the Tan Lux Gradual Tanner. That's kind of what I do once a week. I'll just do like a layer of that to maintain whatever is going on from Florida and Dubai and whatever sun we can get here, but that's it. I'll see you in the morning. Morning. It is Tuesday and it's about to just completely rain from the heavens. It's that sunny little break before it starts to rain like crazy. Gone to the gym and now I'm just filming <clears throat> over on Instagram. I'm doing 30 days of outfits, my final 30 days of pregnancy. So that brings us up to like, I'm due on the, I always forget the date. I think it's the 10th. So it brings us up to like the 8th, which like I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna go hibernate <laughs> from there, from then. So 30 days, the, the next 30 days I'm posting an outfit on Instagram just to kind of give me something to look forward to and to kind of challenge myself. Don't know why I'm doing it now because I'm tired, but it is what it is. I am gonna put you here because my arm's gonna get tired. Yesterday with Nicole from Motherhood Bubble was so good. I didn't film it on my vlog because it just like wasn't that kind of session. I did a couple little stories on my Instagram. Again, if you're curious, I'll link her down below. I think she can do online ones or you can go through an online course if you're not obviously from Northern Ireland. It was really empowering. Like I've had two really positive natural births already with all of an oscar so obviously there's that mixed emotion of okay that's what i expect almost but then every birth is so different so it's just really encouraging and empowering to know like every option that's available and because she's been a midwife for over 10 years she's very like practical with it it's not like she's just one-sided with birth which is really knowledgeable and i think patty really appreciated that like she's just not passionate about birth like she's actually educated and passionate about birth so that was really reassuring so she took us through everything and patty was there and i think that made him a little bit more involved as much as he's been there for both of the births he's just there <laughs> i'm pretty like like to be on my own like in my own head and like just focus so i think it gives him a little bit more insight of like the phases and what i'm going through and like how to assist as best as possible everyone's different in what they like and what they want and how it proceeds long story short it was really great and we really benefited from it so today i just filmed this little ootd my hair is pretty greasy so i'm stealing patty's hat this is a fourth arc jumper this is the asda gilet i got i don't know a couple months ago now but it's re reversible and it's just so cozy i got it for like 15 pounds i can say and then i'm wearing lululemon alliance but i've switched them some oh, i forget who it was someone messaged me and was like oh there's a hack for like pregnancy especially like when you have more of a bump to wear your leggings backwards because there's just more fabric in the back so it can like go over so you don't have to get maternity leggings and so far like i don't know if i notice a big difference like it's nice not having so much fabric in my back area but i don't know so doing it backwards today. And then my New Balance 327s that have like the khaki and they kind of pull in this color and a little bit of this color. I'm gonna go meet my friend Christina for a little coffee, catch up, and then I'm gonna meet Jess and Jane for a walk. And then I'm picking up our crib, which I'm really excited for because I found it on Facebook Marketplace and I happen to know the girl. So I'm just gonna go pick it up. And it's one that like grows with them, like turns into a toddler bed. So I'm really excited about that. Go pick that up. I'll have to do some work this afternoon whenever I'm back. And then we're gonna make some dinner. We're gonna have teriyaki salmon poke bowls. I'm back. <laughs> Patty's laughing at me. Back for my little run of errands and meetups. Have the crib. Patty's excited to put it together for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite easy. It's the, I think it's this, the Stoke like larger one, I know there's a smaller one, it's the larger one I believe, and it's on wheels and all that good stuff, so I'm really excited. I realized on YouTube, because I know I posted on Instagram, but on YouTube I never showed you the outcome of our hallway, and I'm so obsessed with it. So, the grand reveal of the hallway. I'm gonna run through it with you. Like I mentioned, I wanted this to be maximum storage units. I didn't want it to be like super aesthetic and just for show. I needed optimum storage because this room over here was the playroom and still is to some degree. Like some of the toys don't that don't fit in here, like two of Oscar's like bigger toys. 
and then we have like that little market, wooden market. Um, and the two little Ikea tables are in there, which is fine. But then I've kind of put my office stuff in there, like slowly, like a desk, a mirror. And I get ready in there so that my bedroom can be um, strictly for some filming, but also just my bedroom and with the baby in it for the first couple of months. It doesn't have to be like a workspace and a relaxation space. It can just be relaxation and I can have work in here slash the windows there are great. It's a dark room in that room, but by the window is perfect for filming. So I wanted optimum storage for all the kids stuff in the hallway because all they ever do is play in the hallway. They would always bring all the toys out and play in the hallway. So just thought I'd make use of this large space because it's a very large hallway. And even with these massive units, it's still such great space. We went for three units, the middle one being a little bit more exposed. So it wasn't just three closed door units. I wanted it to be closed storage because I don't want to see the mess. I want it to be hidden. The middle bit, I'll bring you a little bit closer. Aesthetic, I guess, a little bit. And we have a light source. We have our outlet behind there. And there's also our Wi-Fi connection. So there was an outlet behind these cupboards. So we just got it tracked. And our electrician, 80 APN Electrics, if you're from Northern Ireland, he's the best. We always get him out for all electrics the most reliable electrician ever. Did that for us like literally within an hour or two. And then the units themselves were done by Tim and his team at Strawhill, who have done our kitchen, do over of the doors in the kitchen, our utility room, our wardrobes in our bedroom. So this is the fourth time I've worked with him. And I basically told him what I've told you. I just want maximum storage and there's another word i need to be using here because i just can't think of it but most the best use of this space and he just totally got it i gave him a slight little idea of his design but then him and his team just grafted this up and it's perfect so I'll put you back again and i will start with this side right here that's the office playroom situation so i didn't want any handles because i wanted it to be very like streamlined and sleek because this hallway is the darkest actual area of our house because the doors over here the kitchen's flooded with natural light but then it's a smaller cove into the hallway and there's no actual windows in the hallway they're all in the rooms so it needed to stay bright and light we didn't want to do anything crazy i really would have loved natural wood but again i needed it to stay bright so i did all push doors no handles and this unit patty can i use you for size reference for a second patty's six five and like he would have to reach to get to the <laughs> so stand turn like how tall do you think these are nine feet probably oh me no <laughs> i'm gonna say they're about nine feet i did three open shelving here for like big box items all of this a little bit of a mess going on, but I don't care because it's hidden. <laughs> Some Lego, her art supplies are in this one. Oh my goodness. All of Oscar's car obsessions are in this one because he's obsessed with cars. No, it's not. Eight feet. Eight feet. It's eight feet. Eight feet. Top is like miscellaneous things that we don't actually need on obviously a weekly basis at all. And then this is kind of their like comfy cupboard. Like the TV for the kitchen is still in there. So whenever they have their cousins over on family Friday or friends over, we always take this stuff out and make it like a comfy little movie area in the original playroom. And then obviously the deep set drawers, they are big drawers. Just more storage. And they have a little stool that they just go grab if they can't like reach it. So then it's very, easy for the kids to get everything. This one I think is Olive's dress up drawer. Yep, it's already chaotic, but sure, kids. And then this is their library drawer. So all their books. We do just press it in once and we're done. Moving on to this middle section. I actually don't think we really have anything. The top drawers, but again, they're just push. Oh, maybe we do, again random stuff, puzzles and games. Open right here and then below, I'm gonna lower you so you can get a better look. Because obviously this is more of a permanent solution, these fully roll out. So there are two drawers that fully come out like boxes and there's like big toys in this that like wouldn't fit anywhere else. But then in the future, whenever the kids are older and there's not like these kinds of toys anymore, I can fully take these boxes away and we can put them above or I don't know, we can use them somewhere else. 
get some thrifty options for them, but we can have this open so then you can see the floor and it can almost be like a desk. So it can be used like that or just open in general. So I will show you. So I just found that really handy. So it's not like committing to like a fully closed space. This part can open up underneath and I can put like more aesthetic looking boxes underneath or whatever, but they come out and obviously Oscar has like some of his bigger toys in these and they roll in and out. They're very capable of doing that themselves. This one is probably the one I was most excited for, this unit, because down this hallway, there is a hallway closet that's a decent size, but if you don't remember, whenever I was designing the utility room, I forgot about our deep freezer and where to put it. So thankfully there's an outlet there and we keep our deep freezer in that hallway. And there's actually a decent size, but it was getting overwhelmed with like some storage bits, all of our coats, just too many things where like you couldn't even walk in there and it was stressing me out. So I wanted a space for our coats that were a little bit more accessible. Again, one press and we have coat storage here. So I use mostly all of our shorter coats. So I'll move you over a little bit. And then obviously on the bottom, there's a drawer, which I don't think we've ha have anything in it yet. So another deep set drawer that probably shoes or like winter shoes whenever the seasons change. Hattie's has a little pull down, not that he needs it but he can pull it down. One of those little bars, if you can see, which is handy. I guess I could have put mine up there and then I could have had more use of that, but mine is on the bottom half, his is on the top, and it just leaves so much room for that hallway closet to be long, clo long coats, which is not too many, and then like actual storage space, which is super handy. Still nice bright streamline nothing is feeling like it's overpowering because it was such a large hallway i knew it could handle a larger size unit and i'm just really happy with it so <laughs> hopefully this was interesting for you because i know i mentioned a couple vlogs ago i wanted to do this and then i think i just never updated you i did on instagram but on not on youtube so this was the hallway makeover good morning it is wednesday just making some lunch it's not morning then well yeah 11.40, making some, making some lunch. Jane dropped over a Marks and Spencer's chicken vegetable soup, and I put on the roast chicken last night, so I just added a couple more bits of chicken to it to bulk it up a little bit. It's been a hectic couple of days, I feel like, now that the kids are back in school. It's lovely that their routine has gone back, but that means ours has, and there's a lot going on in these next couple of weeks especially before the baby arrives. I did, however, make the crib last night with Olive and Oscar because Patty went to his um, uni friend's Bible study in Belfast. So we made the crib, which was pretty easy because I bought it off of, I mentioned Facebook Marketplace, but I actually knew the girl. And so they still had like some of the screws in the places. So it like definitely took the time a lot lower. We don't have a next to me. Um, I think our friends are like lending us a Moses basket for like the first, you know, really early weeks. But um, I love the sleepyhead, dock tot, whatever. I used it with the other two. They love it. They loved it even up until like a year, year and a half. And um, it fits in that. So we might even roll the crib out around like four or five weeks and keep it in our room because we have the space in the room and it's a smaller size at the moment. So that's super handy and the sleepyhead fits in it. Patty and I are about to head out after lunch because I wanted to make lunch before we go out so we're not tempted by more um, cafe food because you can quickly get into that routine where you go out to the cafe and just get food out there when we have food at home to eat. And going to hash out a whole bunch of emails, like template emails, because obviously I'll probably be laying off work a little bit more in the next couple of weeks and we don't have a what or an e email designer so we're gonna try and hash out some templates for the next couple of weeks so that you guys are getting emails let me know in the comments though what kind of emails from brands you like i put that on my instagram stories too because i know i'm inundated from brands emails and some of them they're so repetitive i don't even open them so i want to be really intentional with emails so what emails from brands do you actually open and interact with. Other than that, I have my final reflexology reflex zone with Carrie Hans midwife at five and then next week we start acupuncture which is really exciting so I don't think I'll film because it's a little awkward it's just me and the lady that does it in a dark room so you wouldn't see it but even if like 
it does nothing other than just relax you. Oh, it's so worth it. I've loved it. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. I'm going to end the vlog here um, just because we're out all day with the kids and nothing interesting. Took out my extensions last night. I'm going to do like a good like hair oil tonight because there's still like a little bit of glue in some areas that the extensions are. But my hair is getting so long. I like to oil my hair normally weekly and obviously I have to wait like every eight weeks now to get the extensions out. Quickly wanted to show you this nursing bra. It's the Skims one. I just bought, I bought um, like a nude colored one like when they first launched. And um, me being like, oh, Skims normally run small, I sized up. Maternity wear is obviously like made a little bit larger. So I got a large and it's far too big, but I did keep it because I thought, oh, when my milk comes in, like your boobs are engorged. And I just thought I'll probably get like a month use out of it. Um, and then I'll give it to a friend. Obviously I'm not nursing at the moment. I'm 36 weeks. So I feel like it's just a really comfortable bra whether you nurse or not. Like it's just like an everyday kind of bra. And I've had a lot of nursing bras and I hate them. Like I feel like they're just, I don't know, either too thick in the straps and it's just like a lot more, I don't know, t-shirty every day. Olive's saying hi. You're about to go to Irish dance. That tooth is hanging on by a thread. Go ask daddy to wiggle it. Nope. <laughs> it's gonna fall out. Nope. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd show you that. I also got the nursing tank version. So it's like a built-in bra tank top because that's what I'll wear to the hospital or after I give birth. Um, like I like to have it all in one so I don't have to wear a bra and a shirt. It's just like a one situation. But hopefully you can see 36 weeks and feeling tired but definitely still have energy ready to go hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next one